Hey, what's up, Gamers Skull Mystic? I was in my live stream last night, and we were having conversations as we usually do about this, that, and everything under the sun, and the subject of Fight Club came up. And <laughs> just as is usually the thing that happens, there was a lot of groans and moans and oh's and all like that all around. Why is that? Because, well, I don't know if you guys, personally, you, the viewer who are watching this right now, has done Fight Club yet or not, has experienced the annoyance that is Fight Club yet or not, has been through the endless grinding that is Fight Club yet or not, only to get a monkey statue, only to get a seed, only to get a treasure card that you can't use. Honestly, these days, so many of these sites, I, I'm picking on Fight Club, but there's a lot of them. Darkmoor, Omen Strybog, Medulla, oh, don't even get me started on Medulla. Medulla, where the fight is so difficult or so mechanically demanding. Oh my God, I gotta get, I gotta get the ether while I'm here. Let me grab that. Okay, there. Anyhow, where the fight is so demanding that it takes 45 minutes to do it. <clears throat> now, with Fight Club, my good friend Thomas came up with a system and he got that down to a science where it only takes 15 minutes maybe. And that's great, it only takes 15 minutes. But I personally have run Fight Club 24 times trying to get the quote unquote best deck in the game, which to be honest, is only a couple of points better than what there already is, because you know, they never really give you a huge, huge stat boost on anything. They really don't. I mean, they haven't since Darkmoor. And how, how long ago was Darkmoor? My point is, we really need to start seeing some other options. You know, okay, that's fine. You farmed that Fight Club fight for a dozen times now. Let that unlock something where you can craft that deck instead. Or unlock at least some other means of acquiring the deck. Now, I, I know, guys, I know, I'm going to get a lot of, oh, that's what MMOs are about, farming and going over and over and over to get stuff and, and really try to get it because it's such a small percent. I, you know, I know all that. Warcraft is the same way. I've been working on trying to get this one mount drop for a year. I, I understand that. But, the difference between this and Warcraft, to be honest, the process for getting all that stuff in Warcraft is a lot more fun than a lot of the instances that are here. Oh, let me pick up for instance. For instance, there's a, a, a mount, Invincible, Winged Horse, that I want to get on Warcraft. And you have to go to Ice Crown Citadel, which is an instance, but it's an entire building with a bunch of different things to go and do and fight and explore and, and all that. It's, it's not this. This hole in the ground where it's the same fight, single fight, over and over and over again. I personally think that this type of grinding, sure, while it's part of MMOs and while it's part of questing games and while it's part of all that, I, I really think they with this, not just Fight Club, but with Omen Strybog, and especially with Medulla, need to offer either A, a way better reward than what you've currently got. In other words, that best deck in the game, instead of being one more point, maybe add 10 points to it. You know, make it worth farming. Because I personally, I share the opinion of a lot of my viewers. Somebody says Fight Club, and you hear, oh... Because nobody wants to do it. That's where you start losing the fun of the game. I'm sorry, but it's like Charlie Brown and Lucy with the football. Lucy always holds the football and says she's going to hold it and says she's going to hold it. And that Charlie Brown is finally going to kick the football. And he goes, he cocks that leg up, whoop -hap, and she yanks it away every time. And he never gets it. That crap gets tiring after a while. Tiring. And that makes the game less fun. Less fun equals less play. Less play equals less players. Less players equals less play time. 
which at the end of the day equals less revenue. We have less fun, they get less revenue. I do really seriously believe, I know I'm wandering around the same place the whole time, but I'm on a good train of thought here and I want to keep it going. I really do seriously believe that we need some alternatives for some of this stuff or else, or else honestly, a better reward than what is offered for what there is. Right now, for Medulla, the, the current longest in-game hard fight that there is, there's not even really a decent reward for that. I mean, you fight that fool just, just to get to the end of the storyline once, and then you don't want to fool with him again because, well, he doesn't give you anything. He doesn't do anything. It doesn't make anything. You spend hours and hours at that for a really, to be honest, very little reward. Okay. Fine. We had to fight Medulla at the end. Make the fool drop something. Good Lord. Make him give something up. He's a powerful boss like that. What, was he shopping at Goodwill? What, what's going on here? He's about the brokest boss I've ever seen in my life. And it isn't just Medulla. The, the list goes on and on, but just currently with Imperia being the newest, it really, really made me think about it a lot. And again, that discussion that we had about Fight Club and just the general... I have to say it, just the general negative attitude about it made me think, hey, you know what? For real, that, that is what's one of the things that's contributing to the killing of the fun of this game. King's Isle, guys, any of you who may be listening, please consider what we're saying here. Okay, maybe increase the, the, the value of the thing that's dropped. Or maybe even loosen up that freaking drop rate a little bit. Good lord. I think that thing is somewhere between 0. Point not gonna happen and 0. Point forget about it. Really. And again, not just with Fight Club. I'm in heck with Darkmoor. Let's talk about Darkmoor for a minute. They nerfed Darkmoor because it was a five freaking hour fight. Where you had... Again... Somewhere between not going to happen and forget about it chance of getting Darkmoor gear. They've since fixed that and it's not as bad. And you know what? There's less groans now about Darkmoor than there used to be. Guys, that's where we're at with Fight Club. That's where we're at with Medulla. Cough up the bloody goods. Cough them up. Make this... Make it somewhere back in the realm of fun to do again, because right now, wow. Right now, people people hate to utter the words Fight Club and Medulla. They do. They hate it. Secret Tunnel, that, per, that place is great. If you go there 20 times, you're going to pick up something you need, regardless of what it may be. Either couch potato seeds or one of the cabalist pieces of gear or, or something. You're gonna, Squid Ink. You're gonna, that thing has several multiple drops. I have no issue with a Secret Tunnel whatsoever. You go in there, you're going to get something that you need. And it's not so grindy. It's not so annoying. It's not so, oh my God, aggravating. How many of you guys out there listening right now share this view? I would love to hear your comments about this. By all means, lay them on me. If you'd like to become part of my Twitch community and hang out, watch me stream live, do these things that we do, we have a great time there every night. My crowd is good as gold. You would be more than welcome to join, and I think you would find it a wonderful place to hang out. The link for my Twitch stream is in every description of every video, so grab it there, come on over, hang out with us, and have a good time. Until next time, this is Calamistic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace!